fucking Team MUJ in the motherfucking house. Bobby Blaze. Jimmy Fresh. Uh, we are here to finally, finally, <coughs> finally, finally, un- finally unbox uh, this un- uh, unbox. mystery box from Lazy Crazy uh, and Ouija Mac. For those of you who don't know, go back and watch the last few of our web shows where we've talked about this probably for two months now. Probably longer. January or December we got this. We ordered these. We ordered them in, yeah, so yeah. So we already had that in December. So. Um, so we've been waiting to get these lazy and crazy shits. We want to do this video. Um, uh, we were super, super excited. Super. And I'm only saying were because, like, you know, I was expecting a box, not a bag. First of all, and I know people are like, oh man, mystery box is just a, a phrase. Bro, I had loot crate, fucking gamer box, fucking all that other shit, and guess what? I came in they boxes. showed up in boxes. In crates and boxes. Crates and boxes. So in a way I do, that took a lot of the surprise out of it or the excitement out of it. But nonetheless, we're going to go ahead and unbox it for you guys because I'm still a little excited. No matter what, what's in there should be worth what I paid for it. But we're going to check it out. Do you want me to go first? Before we go, uh, Jiggy Fresh has already done in some brand new, dope, lazy, crazy, uh, Ouija uh, gutter water. Oh, this is the water damage drop. Yeah, this is the water damage All right. drop. This is a little brighter than he expected, but I think it's fresh as fuck. It's a lot brighter than I expected, to be honest. But it's growing on me. It's cold, bro. It's cold. It's cold like and said, bright. We talked about it. It's, it's an exclusive drop. Exclusive Not drop. a lot of people are going to have it, but... That shit's fresh. Hey, man, if you guys are watching this right now, hit up Jiggy Fresh on the gram. Hit him up on the motherfucking book and let him know this shit's dope as fuck. Because this shit's dope as fuck. Even though I did throw a whole bunch of shade, shade. in. Shade. I know. I'm just saying. Hey, he... You know... I was just kind of disappointed because I, I didn't get what I had paid for. That's you know it. And, that's but, what, and I understand. So right now, we're going to get into this. Anyway. Look, do you want me to go first to show you that maybe I didn't get what I paid for? Or do you want to just keep going at what you did? you want to open it first or should we, we open them at the same time? Yeah, I feel like I feel like you should I feel like we should do it singly, right? I should, like we should do it singly, right? He opens one, I open one, or vice versa, or whatever, right? Uh, you go first since I, I, I I'm got gonna the, go first. Since I got you got the, the, yeah, you got the I, first I got, bone, right? I got the, I got the first bone. Alright, so check it out, bro. Lazy crazy motherfucker. I won't say bone, but I got That's dope. The little logo's there. We freshened up uh, a freshened up a dope uh, version of the logo and put it up on the in the beginning that you guys have seen it already. It's probably even behind us right now with the the MUJ uh, color collab on that lazy crazy but i'm gonna go ahead and open my shit up right now it wasn't a box at least there's at least i see black off the jump but uh it wasn't a box but it's still a bag i'm gonna go ahead and check this shit out i'm already a little excited oh yeah i heard i heard a pin all right so i'm gonna look at this first because oh it's a fucking a dope chain. ass griefer fucking pendant oh that is fucking cold can you see that shit yeah don't pass it to the producer in the bag Oh, okay, there's something else that just making me excited, too. <laughs> Another pin? Yeah, it's actual something pin. else. Yeah, I think it's an actual pin. Check that shit out, though. All right, so I'm already a little excited about that, but this is really what I was hoping on. Ooh, blood red, nigga! Oh, yeah, there we go. Uh, 39 out of 50. Look at that. Yeah, okay, now yeah, I'm, right, I'm so excited. All right, so I'm a little excited. I'm a little excited. I'm a little excited. Oh, that shit you was talking. That's why I said I wasn't going to talk shit until I got, uh, got a... Oh, gold as fuck, dude. That's gold as fuck. I was hoping it was a nude, though. Not a Ouija, but. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh, check this shit out. Hey, I'm gonna have to take this to him and get fucking straight up signed Hell up yeah, next time I see him. Dope. That's dope as fuck. Look at that shit. We just. Hey, we just smacked. You know what I'm saying? Look, so I'm already excited to see. I didn't hate. You didn't see me hating online anywhere, right? Hey, uh, just to clarify, I wasn't hating on Ouija. I'm just letting him know. Look oh, like, bro. That's look cold. His, uh, his fans. This shit might get thrown in a fucking giveaway right now. This shit might get thrown in a way in a giveaway. Look at that. That's pretty dope. It's cold blooded. All right, so I already am excited off this I'm shit. I'm excited. I'm shit. already excited off all this shit. Oh shit. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Another what? Pin. Oh, another pin. Or another, uh, another sticker. sticker. All right, this cold. This cold. It's cool. It's cool. All right, it's cool. All right, it's cool. All right, cool. right ladies and crazy, you might uh, redeem yourself. Ooh. Ooh. I seen it. I seen it. Oh shit. Oh. oh. <laughs> See, I never hated that line. That's why my shit's fresh as fuck. Yours is gonna be fucking. This is gonna be sh- jank. Ooh. Oh, look, bro. Ooh, hey. Dub G oh, in this hey. bitch. Cold blooded. Crisp white with that motherfucker. Hey. Got a green. Ooh, hey, bro. Ooh, oh, hey. come on. That is cold. Ugh. Ugh. All right. All right. See, I never hated that line, nigga. I didn't hate it. I didn't hate it. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Oh, and this one right here. This, this is the one right here. This is the one, though. That's, that's, the, one. that's, the, one. that's the one. That's the one. That's the one. That's that one. That's gonna have to be that trade. Ooh, that's that one right there. That's gonna have to be that trade. Oh, oh, oh. All right, hey, hey, so look, clearly 
I'm excited about my fucking box. Uh, forty dollars and fucking eight well and eight months later, uh, it's fucking worth it. I knew just off of two shirts alone that that's worth it or whatever. But man, hey, I was really uh waiting on the pin. That's what we were See, I, I I almost had my uh vest on right now. This motherfucker going right on that bitch somewhere. Oh wow. shit! And this right here, man, I'm, I'm gonna make some. I'm gonna make something like this, you know, get the Ouija Ooh. hat and or get a hat, drop that bitch right in the middle, you know what I'm saying? That's amazing, crazy, oh man. shit. That's so what so with that lean though, that lean, lean cup. cup. Yeah, mm. let me pop this out real quick so you guys get a little closer and look. Look at that. Ooh, oh, that's shit. Right, baby. oh shit. Won't cover my big yeah, ass. Huh? I say don't, don't, Won't cover my big ass. Don't break it out. But hey, hey, look, for real, uh, I didn't hate online. So, I didn't hate online. I was just letting him hey, know. Hey, this bro. this Weezy picture, I'm definitely taking to get tagged up. He be like, where the this hell? This picture, you uh, he took it uh January 21st. It got printed. 22nd. Or 22nd. So that was about the time that they said they were shipping the shit to us, right? No, they were getting it too. Well, I don't know. So that shows that this. In, in January, this picture was printed. I'm gonna have him get this fucking black, bro. Remember that time I was in your house? Um, let's see if there's anything else in here. Hey man, I'm happy as fuck. Hopefully yours is dope as fuck. So uh, all right, those are some go. fucking just some fucking gildian ass t-shirts though. I, but I can sell those as uh, slobby Robbie right, here in the future. Got the same t-shirt, bro. Ooh, ooh. Same swag right now. For real, that'd be crazy, right? There'd be no mystery about it. Yeah. Good. At least you got some shit, bro. Hopefully you got a, a different pin though. Oh, I got the green oh, one. Oh, look. Hey, see, he was hating that line. All right. All right. You better get online right. and delete all of your tweets right oh, now, bro. I'm not deleting shit. Oh, shit. But it's the but same shit otherwise, though, right? It's the same shit. As far as I know, but yes. Yeah. This one is the one I wanted. Yeah. And, uh, uh, see, how, that's so, luck. It's a already, motherfucker. It's already came, though. Like, you throw yours in the fucking. Uh, in the, uh, we, could, uh, we could probably possibly throw it. You might see this in a swag pack from us. Yeah, that, 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 that could go second. We ain't getting this in a swag pack. Oh, man. I'm so. Look, Ch I hey, am so shout happy out to my right boy now. Chunk too, cause uh, I don't want your head anymore. Oh, you told now you're gonna make your own, bro. Because uh, Chunk told me his head got bagel soaked, and we still want it. Oh, we saw prices, but, uh, Oh ooh. shit, that's called bear flexing. Bear flex, extreme oh, dunk. Look, man. Shout out some little stickers. Some you see, you see the look. Yeah. If you would like, the homies that are in the room right now know that we were like a little fucking bummed out. We were same bummed picture. Out. Same picture. Hey, we're getting them set, uh, signed up though and framed and shit. We have framed pictures that we just Shots packed on, we our, just, on our. I'm nice hanging on my refrigerator <laughs> next to my kids. Hey yo, this is cool <laughs> as fuck. This is hey, honestly, like I'm I'm happy. I'm it's happy. the same set. It's the same set. Uh, I don't know. Yeah. You know, maybe uh, yeah, same, same set. Same but that's same. what's up, bro. We're gonna be this bitch swagging these fucking t-shirts. Now the t-shirt. Sure matches the uh, fucking... man, see, for real, this is dope as fuck. But we were hoping to you know, maybe trade. I was hoping, but, hey, yeah, we don't need to, though. We no. don't need to, no. Well, no, the only thing that we would have traded was no, maybe the pins in this bitch, so you ain't trying to trade pins. That's the exact no, I'm believing, bro. But that's now, since, since it matches, that matches. I think that, it's even better that this shit matches. Is that uh, our shirts match. Is that oh, it, it looks like it does. I don't know if that It looks like it might glow. It looks like it does. I don't know. I want to go in your lap. Go ahead, see if it glows. Hey, uh. Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, shout out, shout out uh, to Lazy Crazy with the green drop for sure. Yeah, look, uh, all that shit that Jiggy Fresh talked online, he's going to go back right now and delete yeah. all those tweets and shit. I might I apologize to him, except for this shit, because he really didn't get the color. Yeah. That he I, didn't, I, didn't, I didn't say shit about the mystery boxes. Uh, it would have been much them. more fresh to me. Oh, you got three out of 50, too. That's a good one. I got 39 out of 50. That's a good yeah. number. That's a good yeah. number, bro. It, it's going to... Oh, that's cold. Hey, look, because uh, I wish they were a little bit different. So then we could have traded. It would have been cool as fuck. Cause then you guys could have seen the trade go down. Uh, but otherwise, man, I'm I'm happy for forty dollars. I'm Dude, fucking I'm, totally I'm, happy. I'm, all right, right. You know, yeah. Totally happy. But no, you know. Yeah, so, no. Yeah, creeping but, out. No, but, creeping out. Uh, look, you happy? I'm happy. I'm you happy? happy. <laughs> I'm happy. Look. Uh, much love to fucking lazy the crazy. That's Shaggy the Airhead. Shaggy the Airhead. Man. Much uh, love to Shaggy the Airhead, lazy crazy. But I'm still bummed about this. I'm not as bummed anymore. But hey. Yeah, hey, but look, is, hey, look, the thing is, is look, my boy, my boy don't smoke weed or whatever, you know, so he, uh, he gets hot about things, and he doesn't have that, like, hit something, and he's just like, oh, you're right, I shouldn't be that hot about it, so by then, he's already thrown out six tweets, message your manager, and all this shit, you know what I'm saying, but look, in the end, I'm happy as fuck, bro, uh, shout out Ouija Mac, as always, we're down to support, uh, yes, we jumped sir. on this drop, like, so don't think we only jumped on the $40 drop, this is like his sixth drop that he's uh, bought from these motherfuckers. Yeah. This is the second hoodie. Uh, 
All kinds. All the shirts or whatever. So we had to fucking grab that shit or whatever. Much love to fucking Weezy Mac as always. Much love fucking Lazy the Crazy, Shaggy the Airhead, motherfucking yeah. Devereaux, all the motherfuckers involved in all that shit over there. Yeah. Uh, um, we're about to jump into this motherfucking Weekly Wicked Web Show, but we want to do this before that shit. You gotta check out the motherfucking swag. I think that does you check dark, out. That goes in the dark. It's like, we're about to check that out. Uh, yeah, you guys have seen the fucking swag. Um, we're gonna post this to our motherfucking shit. Uh, be, fr- uh, be sure to motherfucking follow us at Team MUJ on all social media. Um, and look out for our recent, uh, our new weekly weekly web show that, that would fucking it's gonna come right after this video. Much right more fucking it. love to Ouija Mac, Shaggy the Airhead, uh, all you the motherfuckers. Uh, got a gang, got a gang, got a gang. Got I might, gang. I might go back and delete my tweets. I'm making them delete that shit I'll right now. I'm making them delete that shit. Cause uh, you redeemed yourself, but. We about to link up with Matt Murderous, jump into this motherfucking weekly with the web show and announce the winners of February's fantastic Fearless Fred Fury Fellowship for Free Flavor. Mm. Y'all get with it. Yeah. Get fuck with it. All yeah. right. Peace out. Much motherfucking low love. Woo. What up, y'all? It's your boy Jiggy Fresh from Team MUJ here to bring you our brand new contest, the Gutter Gang Gary Way Gathering Giveaway. All the details on how to win this contest and where to claim your prize will all be revealed in this video, so stay tuned. Bringing you the Gutter Gang Gary Way Gathering Giveaway. We collab with our motherfucking homie James Fiend, aka DIY Ninja 414. This motherfucker, if you know won one of our last contests and he showed us mad love since then and with this time we got something super rare a one of a kind limited edition never will be seen again peace in conjunction with motherfucking Ouija Mac hand stitched by the do-it-yourself ninja James Feeney this sweater comes with a super dope patch, not only signed by the artist himself, James Fiend, but by motherfucking Ouija Mac. <laughs> this shit's so dope, I wish I could keep it for myself. But we've given honored to be giving it to you, the motherfucking Gutta Gang, the Wasteland Warriors, the Juggalos. See you at the gathering, motherfuckers. What up, y'all? It's your boy, Jiggy Fresh. Just came back on my walk from the wasteland, man, and I found this dope ass relic exclusively on my walk back. 17 Class A Slappers, signed by the gutter god himself, Ouija Mac. And uh, if you heard about what we're doing, this is gonna be part of that Gary Wave gutter gang gathering giveaway prize pack. So this is gonna go to somebody. And this relic does have a special message on the back, but we ain't gonna show you that right now. You're gonna have to wait to. Be that winner. Be that lucky one. What up, Gary? I know you've been waiting this whole time to find out how you're going to win this giveaway. So I'm not going to fucking waste any more time. I'm going to let you know how you'll win the Gutter Gang Gary Way Gathering Giveaway in conjunction with our homeboy, James Fiend. First and foremost, what you must do is follow us on Instagram at TeamMMJ. Plus, you got to follow the homeboy, James Fiend. He's the motherfucking do-it-yourself ninja, so make sure you follow him. He put a lot of work into this fucking giveaway, and, and, and just to be able to give it to y'all with, with, you know, he wants nothing in return just from you to uh, just sport this shit with pride, just like he put in making it. Um, secondly, if you're watching this video right now, I need you to go ahead, hit that little subscribe button. Then go ahead and take a little screenshot of this. You'll need to now go to Instagram. Post that screenshot and tag Team MUJ and James Fiend. Once you do that, you'll automatically be entered into the Gutter Gang Gary Way Gathering, Gathering. Giveaway. The big gathering stipulation to this. No, we're not giving you a fucking gathering ticket. <laughs> because we could barely get our own <laughs> gathering ticket, so... Man, I'm uh, on the fence of trying to jump the fence <laughs> myself, motherfucker. Exactly, motherfucker. Yeah. So, wow. don't get all excited. <laughs> You'll get the dope-ass hoodie that you could rock at the gathering. But, the stipulation to that, a little uh, scavenger hunt, a little find the Gary way, if you will. You'll have to come find Team MUJ. How's it gonna find us? 
Friday, you will receive an exclusive DM locating the Murderous Lair, a.k.a. MUJ Headquarters at the Gathering of the Juggalos. From that point on, you will have a slight window of time to get to our campsite. First come, first serve. It's motherfucking Gary. Will you find the way? Team MUJ. Hope to see you at the motherfucking super gathering of the Juggalos. For the rest of Team MUJ, I'm Bobby Blaze. I'm Mad Murderer. Jiggy Fresh is wandering around somewhere. We'll find him. We'll see you guys Eventually. soon. See you at the Super Dupa. Team MJ in the motherfucking house. Yeah. Uh, for some fucking cool ass recap shit. Um, over the last few days, uh, covering Hollow Wicked, uh, a lot of stuff's gone down. Uh, so we decided to fucking sneak a little spot in here to drop you off uh, some news and talk about some shit. Uh, Cause a lot of shit really went down, bro. A lot of shit. Like real quick. Some dope shit. Yeah. Some stale shit. Yeah, yeah. Some. Yeah. Why the fuck is it going down shit? Just a lot of crazy shit. Like, I mean, it's Hello Wicked, you know? Hello Wicked is uh, known for crazy things uh, happening. And uh, this year, I guess, really didn't let down on some cool shit. You know, uh, uh, there was a lot of events just in Detroit for two days, you know what I'm saying? Uh, there was four events uh, or so over two days. Um, unfortunately, we didn't go to any of those fucking events, so, uh... Well, we did have homies in the field. Uh, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying, so... We did, so we heard a lot about it. And obviously, you guys had to. So really, like, this is just gonna be <coughs> us talking shit. You know, talking about shit about what we see. <coughs> what we yeah. think about some... Um, it is really cool that there was some music let out. Um, we were just listening to the Ricochet track that I think if, um... Almost and everything that stands out the most. Yeah. Of shit that came I, out. I, I think a lot of the shit that I've heard that came out. Well, I don't know. There's one in my top, but it's not out out yet. Oh yeah, that that that. It's not out, out yet. But yeah, but that, on the singles that dropped, yeah. definitely that weird shit. Um, that dark was dope. Dope Devereaux beat. It just was, you know, it was, it was all right. But that uh, super villain check was dope as fuck. Yeah. Um, if you guys haven't heard it right now, um, go ahead and check it out. It is streaming. Streaming um, everywhere. Yeah, streaming everywhere, which was really dope. Came out, uh, I don't know if it, yeah, came out today. Yeah. Friday, today. Uh, so we, I checked that out. I've listened to that the most, you know what I'm saying? Uh, it's just Jay and, uh, Esham. Snap Jay out the verse, Jay on the hook. Uh, dope as fuck, though. They gave that out as a single for the VIP, though, right? I believe so. VIP. Yo. Hey man, uh, <clears throat> real quick before we get into it, you know, for those who don't know, Sober October is now <laughs> over for over. me, so I'm drinking a beer. This I got first, my drinking buddy back, guys. First, uh, first drink uh, on the web Sweet. show in uh, over a month, so uh, anyone who did Sober October, much more fucking love, so I went for all Scoopy month without drinking. Scoopy. Uh, <laughs> maybe, now, I mean, I guess, like, really, we, we got here to kind of talk shit, uh, We'll so, talk shit first, and then we'll get into the We'll talk shit. We'll talk know. shit, then we'll get into the uh, Really, like, uh, by now, everybody knows yeah, that at uh, the Attack of the Ninjas event. Uh, Shots ring out. <laughs> <laughs> Shots ring out. <laughs> they, sh- they ring out in all kinds of different ways, too, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> uh, and they, I guess they revealed uh, the riders. Uh, to drop November 28th or something like that of this year. Anyway, it's the writers. Like, 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 <laughs> I'm coming about a all super fucking calm and casual, and really, I'm just trying, I'm just like wanting, I'm seething of this hate, and I shouldn't be. But I'm like, Bro. I could feel this. Uh, so, anyway, you know, they want to do fucking psychopathic writers. Uh, but they want to drop the psychopathic from it <laughs> and, just, and just go about their the shit writer. and uh, go about the writers um, and then they want to add a few people and do it a few people really should sure. and really like and that's like even speaking it like from a like logically like open minded acts doesn't belong no. to our writers no not at all yeah. and especially if they're trying to keep the gimmick that acts already is then yeah they can't be and, and the thing is, too, like, you only heard snippets of it. Yeah, I, I actually only. I heard actually one listened to the whole. I, I actually listened to the whole track. 
And normally, I like I, I said it a few web shows ago, I was going to start listening to things before I hated on them, but just the whole concept of this thing is enough to make me it's, know that it's, I, I, I listened to it twice just to kind of, yeah. you know, all right, mate, because the first time I heard I was at work, I seen you go, oh, let me check it out. It's kind of like just, you know, with the phone, so then I tried it in the car or whatever on the way home. It was just like... I mean, they... Yeah, they I only listen to uh, Beneath the Dirt... Uh, they posted a snippet of it. It was uh, Mad Jax part. Yeah. Um, but I mean, like. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't really like it. It sounded like I, Mad Jax. I heard it. It really sounded like. Uh, Paul had, Paul had the best verse. Yeah. Um, but but overall. No, so overall, everyone else is on it though too. Like all these people, Gmo Ski yeah, and Gmo's on it. Uh, and Axe. Axe so, is on so then all. Three, I don't know if all, all three, three people. Have I do not know if it's all three. I, there's at least two of them. At least two of them. Gmo and then Young Wicked and then Otis. Yo, that's so fucked up. A little slug, a little a slug, a little spineless ass, slimy but anyway, ass, grimy ass little bitch. I, oh <laughs> shit! I listened to it twice, and uh, I, I see. I haven't listened to it yet, and like I, I wasn't impressed, man. I, I really was not impressed. Like I said, Paul, Paul had the best verse. But see, and, and he's always besides, going, but he's, besides that, they're fucking, yeah, whatever, good rappers or whatever, but why do you need to take something that has already been done? Uh, it's like, you know how, like, they say everyone watches Netflix because they got friends and shit, it's that nostalgia culture, so here, a fucking Twisted are trying to capitalize on, like, this nostalgia culture that somebody else really helped them build. There wouldn't have been a Psychopathic Writers without fucking ICP ever. You know what I'm saying? So it didn't matter if, like, Whatever, if they would have never met each other, there would have never been a psychopathic rider. There would have been a rider, there would have been a lotus. So I just think that's so, like, weird that they're going to do this knowing that, like, knowing that, like, it's it's complete bullshit. They didn't, there's nowhere they had to, uh, no way in any of their meetings when they were talking about it, they skipped the part where it was going to offend everybody. You right. know what I'm saying? They never, like, they yeah. had to have known. You know, across from my, like, yeah. We're gonna do oh, it anyway. and we're gonna get Young Wicked in there. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Hey, like, like I was saying to you, yeah, dude. Look, it's gonna be a little slug, okay? Uh, you know, like the gun, not like the fucking like snail, not, not like the like snail, the not spineless the slimy, little spineless. slimy bastard, you know? But yeah, man. Oh, it, man. It's, it's, it's man. I don't it, know, it's man. corny, bro. But it's super corny, and the thing is, is like it's corny. Like my whole thing on it too is like you. You guys dropped Triple Threat finally after years and years and years and years talking about it. Yeah. That was, to me, that was Eminem's writing, bro. You should have yeah. just left it at just that. Just did that. And left it at Triple Threat. Because then it's their own original and thing. It's your, it's your own original thing that you guys started. Yeah. It's, it's, they, and even the Venomous Five thing with, with X. Yeah. Twisted and X. All right, cool. You guys, you guys got a fucking roster. Why do you need to do all why, that? Why, why, why bring it back? Like, and, and the whole thing, like we talked about earlier, uh, with the Dark Lotus thing. I was kind of hyped about it when they, when they did it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna and I lie. guess that's a little bit different because they weren't adding members and doing... Yeah, they, they weren't adding... Dropping the... So it's just gonna be Riders. It wasn't... It was never just Riders. Right. This is psychopathic Riders. You have to completely change this gimmick then now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You could have done anything else. You could have named anything else with your entire roster of those same people. This Venomous Vibe shit, where did, what's, what's that? It wasn't that supposed to be some super group within the show? It was supposed to be acting twisted. It's like why why do like we were talking about earlier. It's unoriginal. It's un like and if you're gonna do unoriginal, do your own un- unoriginal shit like triple threat. Yeah. And like how, threat, threat like threat how ICP been and Esham are doing super Super-Villains. villains right now. Super like we were talking about it earlier. Super villains is being pushed really hard. Uh they just let out their filth ass single, they got the gathering the shit, uh the pendants at the gathering were super villain shit. So hopefully we get a super villains album now coming that like some dope at, the world needs the super villains right now, you know? And it was cool that they're not at least super. they're doing that though. But they're not going out there like they said not Lotus is dead. They said they won't do writers anymore because, like, it's a project that was with other people, and since they're not with those other people anymore, we don't need to do it. And the only reason why Twisted would do it to me is either to piss people off or to capitalize off the like the gullible people who, for some reason, think that's a good idea. Yeah, I mean, and I got, like I told you, we talked to our homeboy, uh, Fred Frankie. You know, yeah. support a little bit of both sides. You know what I'm saying? More, I would say more at least to <laughs> the Ebony side, but. Yeah, yeah. Um, 
<laughs> like he, you know, he laughing about it, but he, he attended both shows. He attended Tag of the Ninjas the night before. He attended Halloween, Halloween the night before. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> um, and he even told me Halloween is the first time in years that he's been to a clown show. So that's yeah. dope, anyway. But yeah, since all his dramas were up. like, uh, I I don't know, man. And, and like, I I was. Always kind of like me and Matt or whatever, kind of back them up a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, the whole Dark Lotus thing, I was like, all right, cool. But like you said, yeah. it was they didn't add nobody to it. Like, oh, hey, we're going to yeah. replace. They were just doing Lotus. Yeah, they were doing yeah. Lotus. They are doing their verses, whatever. Um, Even them doing Ride of the Songs is cool. But to come out and then now just be the no Riders is. and now have G Moski, who dissed Violent J on track. Right. Uh, who then you got the Young Wicked, who's the whole beef behind it. I was telling uh, Jiggy, I feel like anybody who's part of this project is like a little bit of a bitch. Like, I don't care who you are. <laughs> like, I think you're a little bit of a bitch because you would have never had a chance to be on the, you would have never been a psychopathic writer. You know, that yeah. was like a thing. You know what I'm saying? That, that was, was like a, that I was mean, like a thing. You they, know? they did add, you know, like when Boondocks came in, yeah. you know, and then ABK, you know. Yeah. There's an eShop was even yeah, right yeah. at one point in time. You know what I'm saying? So, but I mean, those were all guys. That was like, yeah, that was like, that was a, a, like a cool, it was a that thing. That was like you know a saying? thing. So man, now you're like, going to be like, oh, well, now we're doing Riders over here. You guys could have did something completely different. With the, I'm the, saying, like, with, with the roster you guys have. But even if they wanted to keep jock, they could have been like another sect. You know, yeah. like some other shit. You know the what I'm saying? The Ninjas, bro. Yeah, the Bloods and Cribs. They could have been <clears> Riders and... You know what I'm saying? They were releasing those the Dojo albums. They could have been fucking... The ninjas fucking or some ninja clan shit. They could have named they the foot yeah. clan, fuck, <clears throat> power rate, whatever. It's just weird as fuck that you would that they it's like weird. when I said in numerous times, bro, everything right. that Twisted had done to me feels like a cash grab uh, and using this culture that they pretend they don't want no anything to do with right. Like uh, all summer they, or all fall they want to be fucking emo band, but now they want to be fucking gangster rappers again. I mean, that's what <laughs> kind of threw me off. And here, like, and bro, the one video where for you, for you, bro, you know? for him to to be online talking shit about <laughs> Twisted and stuff, like, I mean, shows you that it's I, like it's getting there, bro. It's getting there. It's like, like you said, I, I, look, I can't man, hey, this is a very fucking controversial. Yeah, statement. I'm sorry right to now, tell you no, it's all good. I'm sorry I to tell you off. This fine. is a very un- uh, controversial statement I'm even gonna say. Twisted right now, to me, are like Donald Trump, bro. They keep doing shit to tear us apart. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They're out there. They lie. They say all this fucking shit. They go out there and then, you know, tear, tear us apart, bro. And I feel like that's, that's the same shit Donald Trump does, bro. I feel like that's exactly what Twisted keeps doing, bro. They feel like they could, <clears throat> they just do this shit to, 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 to get me and my fuckers to be fighting. To get me mad that... Fatal Frankie's excited about this project or something, you know? Like, that's right. why... But shout out to Fatal Frankie. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. I was just using it as an right. example, obviously. But for, exactly. like, for shit like that, like, they do this to get people mad because the only way that they're going to get uh, attention is by like you said, doing old shit for this controversy. It's that controversial, bro. It's like, you know... Uh, I don't see anywhere where they do it for the love because, like, I ne- I wasn't asking for a Rise of album. I, dude, I don't know... From either side. Side, no. I wasn't asking for a writer's album. When, when Everyone I heard, was talking shit when they wanted to do a low writer's. Yeah, that's what we said earlier. Like, yeah. We were talking about that right before we started. And even when we started the video, like when, when the whole thing with Little Riders was, you know, like you said, Ouija and fucking Light. And then it was like, oh, they, they're going to do After that ride. gathering, everyone, oh, they're going to do a low. That's, that's so far, That's stupid. That's so dumb. That, but yeah. they and were adding nobody. But, and and ICP wasn't going to be part of it. It wasn't ICP. It was just going to be them. We, and it, and it back to the thing, though. Like, <laughs> it was going to be just like some like, bullshit. Like we were talking about with, with the rosters each label has. Yeah. But like we were just talking about it before the yeah, video. Yeah. We might not get it. But... but there was psychopathic talk about the Looney Goon. Yeah. Who do Ouija like and ICP? Because they're it's a said, whole different group. Everyone got all mad when they said they weren't gonna do it anymore. But yeah. like, and that, and some people, oh well, just because they don't want to do it anymore doesn't. Yes, it's done and over yeah. with. You, like, you don't go and do this. You can't go do a project when part of the people who were founders and like, like prime people of yeah, this project they're, they're, and then just do it without them. You just can't do that shit. That's like, like having a story, a Harry Potter story and taking out Harry Potter, Hermione, and <laughs> fucking Ron. You know and, I, like, and I'm not even saying that like... Or even something like that. I mean, then just be saying, oh, I'm gonna, well, they should sue. 
no, fuck that. You can't see each other. You really can't. But even, I don't even know how that all that shit would ever work. But it's not even that. Twisted just shouldn't do it. You know what I'm saying? They should do something original, bro. Yeah, yeah, if, right. if you're so like smart, I said, that, that venomous fire shit. Do okay, original. cool. That, that's yeah. that's your guys' new shit. Triple the threat. New, this new dope super group. Bro. Yeah, and triple threat. Even a triple threat thing, like. I remember when they were psychopathic, there was talks about that shit. Even I was a um, mutant. Yeah, yeah. Man's, one, of, one of us had Triple Threat, the song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there was talks about it. Oh, they were, they were put this album on. They, put, yeah. they never did. Yeah, yeah. Now, regardless, it was something then, 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 intertwined. But they finally did yeah, it. And to me, shit, that Triple Threat shit, shit. The Triple Threat shit to me was, yeah. all right, this is this is the Riders right here. This is the them three as the Riders. That's their gangster shit. I just don't know and why. And that's... Like, yeah. why would you just... I try to... Like, yeah, I'm trying to move on past the whole fucking hating every day on fucking twisted type shit. But then, like, this type of stuff happens and it's hard not to get mad about it. Like, Lotus and Riders are just like, you know... Sacred, bro. Sacred type yeah, shit. Yeah, it's, it's... I'm, I'm cool with there never being a new Lotus or Riders. I'm cool with it because we had all these dope years with Lotus and Riders, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, <laughs> Accepting... Those things being gone, it's like part of life and accepting death. You know what I'm saying? Like, it is, you know what I'm saying? like cool. We don't we don't have that anymore. Good times. We'll think about those memories. Yeah, honor more forever. Than. That's why I always used to get mad when Twist would do Lotus though, right. because it was still a little fucked up. You know yeah, I mean, it, it definitely was. Mm-hmm. And, but, but then to do this though, like a full on release an album called The Riders. Yeah, that. Like, like, that's like, the difference between the. To me, too, was the okay. They, they kicked off a couple cents with the load of shit. Yeah. All right, cool. At least you're, you're keeping it alive, whatever you know, giving yeah. it that and stuff. Like you said, the nostalgia kind of feel, yeah. but to drop a whole like that, that. Now, if they would have done that, yeah, I would have been Superman, like just dropping the Lotus album. Like, I hey. seen somebody online post earlier saying something about how uh, they're not even mad, it's just something more for us to laugh at, and it really is. Like, well, someone even said, like, I told you earlier, said, like, they're not mad about it, but. Like, oh, it's, it's kind of cool, but why wouldn't you come up with something mm-hmm. original? Yeah. Why be unoriginal? And why <clears throat> take from something, like you said, that was, yeah. that was something that had the founding members, that had... That's so classic, You bro. can't have, like, one without the it's other. Like, fuck, it's saying? almost, like, 20 years old, bro. It's yeah. a, some riotous yeah. shit, you know? And uh, for this, just to, it, like, it tarnishes it, bro. It, to me, it, like, tarnishes the legacy. It it's like putting the ABK... Overdubbed on the, the original Lotus <laughs> album, you know what yeah. I'm saying? That yeah, like you know, like a turn to some shit. Uh, I just, I, you know, I don't mean to hate everything that they do, but this is like it, because it's so unoriginal. Because they're like supposed to be geniuses, they're supposed to be able to do this on their own, and then they're like, oh well, we need to borrow some of those ideas that we didn't necessarily create the gimmick behind. Right. Yeah, well, they might have. Oh, that's what the, my name's gonna be. This they might have did that, but they weren't like, "Hey, we should do the psychedelic writers." Right. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I mean, it's, it's, <clears throat> so I think like that's I said, why I think I, it's stupid. I, it just shows that they they don't have their own <clears throat> ideas. I couldn't get behind it, man. It's just... And that's what I want to know what everybody else thinks. I know yeah, I mean, this is a, this has to be controversial. Everyone's gonna say, "Oh." Well, like I said, butt like, hurt over this or whatever. No, bro. Like, it's not butt, I've been it's listening not to butt. Psychopathic Riders since the first Psychopathic al- uh, Riders album came out. Okay, some of you weren't born then. Yeah. Some of you who were gonna watch this video weren't born when Psychopathic Riders Dumpin' came out. I was. I was already fucking bitches to Psychopathic Riders Dumpin'. All right. So I know Psychopathic Riders. I was at the gathering when the Double Psychopathic Riders album was released. You know what I'm saying? So I know Psychopathic Riders. It's a legacy thing. You know what I'm saying? You can't take a legacy thing from somebody because that you left. If you left the legacy, boom, the legacy is done. Then we hang up that motherfucking jersey in the arena that everyone goes to, and you see yeah. that fucking jersey. You, you drop the you know title and just nobody wears it ever again. Yeah. Saying it's, you know like, like, it's like 23, baby. Yeah. Nobody wears that shit ever again. Yeah. Yeah. But I don't know, man. Like, so I, I feel like that's how it should be. Like Bob Blake said, for me, for me to go, at, like, nah, man. Like, 
for you uh, to go. Like I, like I said, the Lotus he's thing. die hard, bro. Like, and, <laughs> now look, I guess we can talk about like you in that that episode. You, you, he's already having a little turnover because he realizes how like some of the moves that are being made at Magic Ninja are so fucking trifling, bro. Yeah. And then how I, I clowned it already in this little shit that we're talking about. My, my thing this that fall, I, they were on tour opening for an emo band. You know what I'm saying? Opening for this band, even though they were the best number two in the world. They were When it came down in the underground, it was ICP, Twisted, Tech 9 Chris Calico. Calico. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that was it. Look, Calico made the right decision. Twisted could have made the right decision. And all this would be completely different. I bet you they'd be making more money now. I don't know how shit goes. I don't, know, I don't know how well. I mean, but so, so, I would so, say they're still well off, but so I mean, that, like, but that's what gets me mad though. They were opening for this emo band, and now they want to fucking be gangster rappers, right? And, and the whole thing too is like, like you said, them if they would have just did the Calico thing and like, hey, you know yeah, what? Calico made the right decision. Suck it up and let's let's do what yeah, we need what the fans want. You let know, us do our own thing. Let us do our own thing. But let us let us have free range, but yeah. and give us psychopath records in the end. Yeah. <laughs> you know? You guys were the heirs to the throne, bro. Yeah. Like, I'm sure I mean, you guys could have. You, yeah, I'm sure you guys could have bartered hard. You know what I'm saying? You, if you guys got all the shit that you guys have now, your masters and stuff back. You could have got it probably while working, uh, while still being on Second Family. Like, all this shit would be different. I would probably still be a fucking twisted man. You know what I'm saying? And, and the thing is, like, it's, it's not that I hate them. I, I I still like the music, some of it. The newer shit, I, I no, you're not totally turned yet. But this I'm is, not, I'm not. But, but, you, but the, 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 these are certain points. In your perspective, like, what the fuck, dude? Like, why? In your perspective, me and this guy have full on argued about this whole shit yeah. when it first started happening. Yeah. So thinking about that now, all those things that I was telling you, you kind of I, start yeah, to say you, you see it. I mean, it, it, it is, it is what it is, and I mean, just. I don't know, just just the whole thing, like their 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 music, like even the last two albums were just like I understand and twi- twisted to me, they, and that's what I liked about them. I I even from the beginning, like that that's what actually pulled me in was twisted. Yeah. When, when, oh no, it is for sure. Yeah, you you, know, you always been shit, almost like, been a like a like, like a twisted, twisted kid, whatever yeah. you want to call it. But he was a twisted serial killer and juggalo for yeah. sure. So so when you when you pull that shit in and then now. But even for so so even you're saying that this. Doesn't appeal to you. It doesn't, dude. And, and like, it was like the whole, the whole, like, what appeals to me when they were on Psychopathic was like every album to me is like they got better. They evolved. They did something different. Yeah. They kind of like, all right, damn, like, okay, they could do that too. Yeah. And it was dope. You know what I'm saying? And it, but then like, when you start trying to go like the darkness, even the darkness. Well, for for argument's sake, though. Wouldn't that be evolving you went through it was a way that you didn't like it? Yeah, I mean, it's still evolving. It is. It is, but at the same time, it's like... But because, just you're, because you're, it's your favorite band, you don't necessarily have to like them. You don't, exactly. And you're, you're, you're appealing... I mean, I know you're trying to gain a new fan. That's always dope. You know, you're trying to reach out, expand your fucking fan Playing base. at 7 o'clock. Dope, but don't expand... Opening so, a tour. Don't expand it twisted. so far to where you're going to lose yourself in the process. And that's what they're doing. Bro. I like, really... They hit taking the on the label like this, yeah. having all these artists. Blaze just released a greatest hits album, guys. It hasn't done. He hasn't looked anything in it. Oh, Cassie Factory. Was that it? Yeah, that's it. Everything else was. Gang Rags. Zodiac Emperor. Gang Rags. Re- Reborn of the Gang Rags, which wasn't even that good. And then. <clears throat> but yeah, uh, and now with greatest hits. So that doesn't that doesn't say good things either. Gorilla Voltage. Had a right. fight amongst with each other. They're gone. That was never addressed. Uh, yeah, I just feel like uh, everybody's gonna like again with Donald Trump. All those people who supported Twisted are starting to realize I made the wrong fucking choice by going all in on these guys, and that's how that's how I do. I, I like it's weird in this like. Weird, right? Like, like similarity. Look, we still I have keep comparing these two. I keep comparing it like that. But, I mean, and that's, that's how like, I keep seeing it. The redemption is, is, is I don't. There's. I don't feel there's no coming back. From like the. Uh, it's just. The psychopathic was already, you know, a fucking a company that had been around 17 years before it was left. Yeah. 20 years before it was left. So it's not like you could just go do that overnight. Right. You know? and, and the thing is, is like. Look at strange music. Look at the struggles, the struggles, uh, the struggles that they have with artists. Right. 
So uh, my thing is, I, like, I don't, I don't wish that about Twisted, but I just, I'm almost happy that it's happening. Again, I'm, I'm gonna again, tell with you, Donald Trump. I'm just happy spe- it's spe- happening. Spe- speaking of that, like you said, like ninety, you know, it's been around twenty years, like yeah. you know, more than twenty years now. But, you know, and, and strange music, at least, I don't think two thousand nine hundred. So it might be twenty years now. Yeah. But the whole thing is, we like. Speaking on that, that that longevity, Eminem's not gonna have that, bro. I can guarantee you, Eminem will not be around 20 years from now. Oh no, no. They're, they're, they're and one. it's like things like this. I feel like that tarnish their legacy it as is. well as the name of like projects like Riders and Lotus yeah. and stuff. That, um, but like like I said earlier, the the whole Lotus thing was different. A little different because, like you said, yeah, they're, they're not they're not dropping. A, oh, we're, we're I, dropping the Dark Lotus, yeah. and that's gonna be yeah. Lotus. You know what I'm saying? The, we're dropping Psychopathic Ride, and I was just Ride, Bell Ride, or whatever. They dropped, they did a set. You know what I'm saying? Cool, whatever. You brought that nostalgia back. You gave everybody that. Oh fuck yeah! You know, I miss this shit kind of feeling. But now to drop a project, it's just kind of like I. And then, like I said, I, I actually listened to the song, and I was not. Yeah. I was not that impressed. I might, even, I might even listen to it just for fuck's sake. I mean, listen to it for fuck's sake. You know, one time, like, at least one or tw- once or twice, just to... The way the world works is like, I wish that Psychopathic could sue them. But because they probably can't, I hope that someone just, like, takes matters in their own hands. Does some weird shit. Pulls fire alarms at shows like they did in Chicago. Matt Murderous, I would have paid... For real, I would have legit paid him fucking 50 bones last night. Venmo. I, like, I almost thought about going to that show last night just to start shit. But I can't do it. So, but I'll pay motherfuckers to do it! Cutting that whole thing. Cut that, I'll probably cut that whole thing out of the web show, though, anyway. But, like, I almost do feel like that, that I, like, I know how juggalos are. Yeah. And I just, I just hope that maybe now some juggalos get a little more mad and make it a little, what, Dustin can't save you from. Oh, speaking of that's fucked up to say that. Oh, we cut that out? No, they're all busted. But speaking of like, like them, Jiggy's, Jiggy's about to. Like I'm, those, glad, I'm glad you don't have the twisted tattoos, bro. Like, <laughs> like the back, the only tattoos I got. I'm glad you don't have the twisted tattoos. But uh, and them guys, them background guys, like we talked about, to me they're cloud chasers on both ends. Yeah. CPN, Chuck. Yeah. Guys. Like I said, I posted on Fatal Frankie shit. I was telling you about it earlier. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's right away, and I'm like, well, I'm like, I, I and I've been, I, the first thing I posted on Fatal Frankie shit, like, well, who, who is it? Just Triple Threat and Boondocks? Like, yeah. it, it's, it's Twisted Blades and Boondocks? Because and, that, uh, I guess, was, people would be even give them leeway on just I, I, that. I would have might have given them a little more leeway. Some people would have. I would still be pissed off. Yeah, I mean, I would have given them a little more leeway, but still. Yeah. Even then, like, so you, you're, you're just taking Triple Threat and throwing Boondocks in there. Or turncoat dirty or whatever. I don't even remember his fucking riding name. Anymore. Yeah, was like, but anyway, having them, you know what I'm saying? And then uh, Frank's like, no, 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 that's not it. He's like, here's the lineup, and he, yeah, and he tells you it's it's, it's Twisted Blades, Axe, and you know, Gmo and fucking Young Weed. And then here comes Chuck. Oh no, that that's not it. You know, blah blah blah. That's not that's not that's not there. You know, you, you'll shit when you. You know, like, bro, that that lineup does not impress me, bro. Like, it's. it's after hearing the song, that Chuck was writing because I saw it was kind of yeah. And then he's like, oh, uh, I told you earlier. He commented because he said when he said UGA in it, and that's why I said look. And I'm not afraid to fucking say this on the web show because I'm like, I, some of these people fuck with us. If you are part of this project, you were kind of like you're a bitch, bro. Like because you didn't get asked by. The originators of this shit, you know what I'm saying? This is psychopathic writers, bro. This, we, all the songs that they're gonna sing, they cut out psych- psychopathic writers. They cut out any of that shit in any of their songs. They don't say psychopathic. How do you not? How do you sing psychopathic songs without psychopathic shit? Can't. So that's what I'm saying. Well, the thing, the thing that got me too. Whole bitch, whole bitch, don't give fuck. Slap me, whole bitch. Do whole something fun, whole, whole bitch. bitch. Yeah. But like, like you said, the cloud chasing guys, comment on the thing. Oh well. Uh, Ebony called Psychopath, called like, like, come on, bro. Called him and said, hey. Hey, we're going to do this. You guys want to be part of it? Let's, 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 let's bring the band back together. 
I highly doubt it. If they asked them to play together, they're, they're, they're a whole bitch still. I highly fucking... Like uh, yeah, still a whole bitch, but... They're a whole bitch still if they, uh... I highly doubt it, and they're still a whole bitch about the situation, because, like, it's it's unoriginal. And, like, I don't care how how you slice it. It's, it's, slice it's, it. it's not fucking... Yeah, they could have done something cool, and I get, like... You got, like I said, you got... Do what... They could have done well, something like completely different. You man. had the Looney Goons. Make them whether cool we, ass whether we get it or not, the Looney Goons was a project that... That smells good. Uh, the Looney Goons was a project... To look forward to. To look forward to. With the roster that Psychopathic has now. It was a whole nother super group. It was a whole nother thing. And even with it the super villains. Even it with the super villains. makes me think that the person who was like creating all these really good ideas was someone who's not Psychopathic Records that everyone yeah. seems to hate. And, and you know what else, too? Speaking on the whole fucking switching and adding people to the groups, Super Villains, bro. Yeah. Super Mr. Villains. Hart's not there no more. And they didn't replace him with nobody? They're not replacing him. They're not like, oh, hey. Hey, well, here, here, you're gonna be Mr. Hart. Mr. Diamond, Mr. Club, we're Mr. Heartless. Yeah, shit. Ricochet, bitch. You know what I'm saying? Like, like Damn, if we're gonna do it, we're gonna do it right. They're doing a project that never included Twisted. Yeah. And what when they did it at the gathering, what did Twisted do? Put out fucking oh, oh man, shirts. they're stupid hero shirts. Wasn't that and like and when I even when I started bringing shit like that, people were like, oh, well, why wouldn't they? Well, why would they if they don't want to? And the whole thing they was they don't want to do shit with us and wanted to clown and be and have this whole separation. They don't get to use the things that they originally did. Like and the whole thing was too is. That wasn't like I even put the shirts out. We're gonna, it was the, that weekend yeah. thing. It was that weekend only. Yeah. And that, that was another thing that kind of oh man, they they did fucking really yeah. grab my gears, bro. But I forgot all about that. Yeah. But yeah, like I'm saying, like you got the super villains. You had what twisted? You had the right diamond, now? the club, the spade, the heart. The bell has gone. Yeah. So they didn't be like, hey Weezy, you wanna be new Mr. Hart? Hey, hey like, like, hey Hoodoo, you wanna be new Mr. Hart? Like, you're a pretty, you're a pretty boy. Why yeah. don't you come do this? You wanna be Mr. Hart? No. No, they're like, fuck they, it, we going on. We Mr. Heartless, shit. motherfucker. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Shit. Mr. Club, Mr. Spade, you know, whatever. Yeah, they didn't even know heart, they're heartless. They're heartless, bro. Fuck them. And it works. And it works. And, and then it, it's it still works. And then it need to capitalize on a gimmick that somebody else created. Uh, <laughs> that's, and that's the part that just, like, it fucks with me, is that I don't believe yeah. that it was Jamie and Paul were like, hey, yo, Alex, we should do... A gangster rap album called The Psychopathic Writers. Yeah. I just Maybe. don't believe that was like something they brought to the table, you know? Joe, Jamie, Joey, yeah. and Paul records to put that yeah, on. I just don't. So, and that's, and that's why it bothers me, you know what I'm saying? I just want them to be original. If they're original, we, we could go our separate ways. It's like when you have a, a girlfriend, right? And you put her on all this other cool shit, you guys split up, and then she's like rocking your, like, like and spreading that cool shit that you do. But really, man, we kind of want to just get into that type of, because uh, we know it was a hot issue. We know a lot of people talking about it. And honestly, like, I couldn't wait another week oh, yeah. to talk about it no, or whatever. It was fresh. So we had to get together this time. Yeah, yeah. Like, because for real, man, just the way that I feel about it, like I said, I, I've already I've already made my two yeah. comparisons. It's like some Netflix fucking nostalgia some culture Netflix where they're where they're trying to capitalize on a nostalgia that people had from years ago that I've had for almost 20 years listening to the writers. And then they're like, they're like Trump then to tearing us and just part of one. We really, we had, there hadn't been a big rift in the community in a while. And yeah. then they do this. Yeah. What did, hey. what did ICP do for their two singles? An awesome super villain thing. And then uh, a new ICP track. And then here for uh, Twisted, they have to end their show with controversy. Yeah. I mean, in true bitch fashion. Whole bitch. Yeah, dude, I, like, and I, you know, I don't mean to Hashtag talk about it, and I, I even told, like, Eric, you know, on, uh, Twitter, Atomic Eric, oh, yeah, Tom, uh, man. he hates on everything, you know what I'm saying, and I saw him post something, and I comment, I was like, bro, like, you gotta let us hate on this, because this is, like, some straight, real bullshit, like, you know, like, I, I don't spend my time on Twitter talking shit, I don't spend my, t- I don't, I don't even follow Twisted on any of my social media anymore. I follow them. I, still, them, but I, I mean, still fuck with I, any I, of their I, shit, you know what I'm saying? And here, uh, I had to talk about it for a minute. You guys, you guys, you guys, you said it right? Okay. Uh, I, I, it, I had to talk about this.
because you're just a whole bitch. Because I just feel it's the whole thing. Like, I just feel like for real, they disrespected the whole Juggalo community doing this. If they would have done their own thing and then like, boom, this is better than Raiden's. Like, you know, I like said, people would talk about it. Oh man, that this fucking Venomous Five, right. the coolest thing in the fucking That's what I'm best saying, underground like, super like, group. Like you got, but instead, they're not pushing that. We haven't heard anything about that. Venomous Five isn't dropping on in next month. It's Raiden's out of nowhere. Yeah, because they've been pushing because Psycho. I think they've been pushing super villains for a year. They're like. Yeah. We better do Rhinos because that's hot. Hey, it would have been one thing too if you finally push your fucking superhero man. I don't know if that's still a psychopathic commodity. If they would have done that, I would have still been pissed at you. Yeah, but I mean, at least it would have been. If we're beefing, we're beefing. I'm the superheroes, you're a super villain. Yeah, villains. right, yeah. exactly. It, it would have been, all right, here's a legit, here's a beef, a legit yeah. beef. Yeah. And right now it's just. And, and the whole thing. Now it's just infringing. On the infringement. Even with the heroes thing, there was never a set group. Like, nobody yeah. knew who the superheroes were. Yeah. It was what twisted, and that was it. And even if you wanted to be basic, and you just wanted to think of who the writers were, then cool. Then they had three of them over there. Yeah. Then, right. then they do writers with those three. But nobody else. To use Gmo's key and fucking Otis is, like, beyond Pure disrespect. Pure like, uh, disrespect. Because of Otis, there is no Lotus. So, no Lotus because of Otis. So you want to do this shit and do Riders and then put Gmoski, who just fucking violent uh, wax style too. But anyway, man, look, we, we definitely have to talk about it. Uh, we want the good shit that happened. We want to know all your guys' opinions. So even if it's it? even if it's different than ours, let's talk about it, bro. That's what we're supposed to be here. Like, no matter yeah, what, sure. we, can we talk have, about we it have to remember. We have to remind people because our last our, Bar, our two baby. videos right now. We've talked about things and we've had disagreements on on two different and people or whatever. So we just want to let you guys know: no matter your opinion, we still love you, and we hope no matter ours, you still love us. We're still family. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is, like. Yeah. Like, I, I, it's it's long been known that I don't fuck yeah. with M and E like that. You don't, but, but uh, I know someone's starting to crack. Shing and armor. You know what I'm saying? But like I said, man, it, it it's. It's simple, stupid little shit like that that gets you like, why the fuck are you doing it? Like, you, you're supposed you, to be better than that. You, you guys left to to be your own entity, to be your own fucking project, to be your to be the number one. But you're still fucking taking up. opening for emo bands opening, and then releasing fucking writers. You're opening for emo bands. You're doing stupid merch drops right before. Certain things, no one that there was a super villain set, no one was a super gathering, so you want to drop superhero stuff? S- just a cash grab. It's all a cash that grab. That was bro. super cash grab right there. That rubbed me the wrong way. It is all. The Dark Lotus thing was, like I said, I could have I'm been... surprised you fucks didn't let out like a Sid Haig shirt the fucking the weekend he died. Oh, Astronomicon's coming out. Yeah, yeah, I bet you they'll have one yeah, for yeah. sure. Yeah, I bet you they'll have but, one. But, um, yeah, nice. man, it, it, it's, it's. Dude, and this, like. It's unoriginal, like. And, I, and that's one thing I... That's, and we keep saying but that. It that's is. What, that's, but, why I, that's why I want to kind of wrap it up, man. No, 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 hold on. But the, but, but the whole thing, like like I said, like I always liked about Swift is, is that they they evolved. They they always did something different. They had some original they, shit. They, they tried to be their own. They team. tried to do it and tried to like, hey, all right, we did this, 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 and this. Let's try Darkness. Green Book, for example. Yeah, yeah. Let's do this rock track. Let's see how yeah. it plays out. Yeah. Let's do the Black Magic thing. Let's see how that plays out. Darkness, wrong with me. And if they're doing this dope tracks, we're both dope tracks. But then now you're going like. But if they are, and they're taking this route now, and they want to be like this band, then do that shit. Then do that. Do that shit. And don't leave that shit. Don't come back to the the other things that that made you. Yeah. That that, fucking made you. No, that you and your ex girlfriend did. You know, like move on past it. That's why, like, that's why, like, people give ICP and Violent J in particular so much shit, but at least they're doing things that weren't twisted and mauled, you know what I'm saying? You don't see them out there like, hey, we're gonna do uh, Wizard of the Hood and Roadshow without Twisted. Yeah. Can't do it. They're not out there doing Dark Lotus. That's now, too, like you said. Yeah. It's, it's, that happened at 17. It's over with. I you haven't even seen it. ICP do a Dark Lotus track since all this is done. No. And they won't. I haven't they, I, I, seen I, them do a Dark it. Lotus track since all this was done. Because it's over, bro. So let's, like, like, if Twisted are supposed to be better than that, and they have their own original 
original ideas, then please just go on and do them so I don't have to waste the energy. I don't like being negative. I'm, I'm trying to fuck it. I'm trying to be a good guy. I'm trying to real and I never, hard I never wanted, to be the righteous man. I never wanted to hate these guys, bro. I never wanted to hate you guys. It, it, you, dude, it, but it's it breaking almost me down. It makes me feel good bro. that he is starting to feel the way it's that I It's breaking felt. me down. Because, you know, when they first left, I was like... When they first left, I was supportive, I was right? Like, he was super supportive. And like, like you saw that shit, right? Ne- next year, he pulled a tweet up on me. Remember, there was a tweet and like the memories on Facebook shit. Oh. It, it probably like, hey, and, and to me, I, at that point in time when they fucking left after abominations, bro, I was like, hey, this is the best thing they could have done. This is, this is what they wanted. They can do it on their own. And everything was still up back then, though, too. It was like, hey, we support them, let them go on the way. We did what we could with them. They were still doing some shady shit. Like yeah, time. but I mean, and, and, and to me. That whole Abominations album, like, if you look back on it now, that was their, like, fuck you goodbye album, bro. I feel like Heartbroken Rival Saddle was, too. No, 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 no. Abominations, yeah. I think, I think Seconds to None. Oh, yeah. When, when they, I think, I think Psychopathic was just like, hey, you know what? Hey, too dope, you gotta throw the ad-libs on here. Someone's gotta throw ad on here because this song is, this is, is not gonna fucking fly with. Fucking too much shit. Yeah. It's not gonna fly with just... We already we already released Frankenstein on an album before. Right, <laughs> we but, can't do this. You know? Well, I said yeah. When, when you fucking throw second and none, like the more you listen to that song, yeah, yeah, for sure. And it, it just it fucking reverbs and revibrates in my head. Like that whole song was just like we're gone. See you fuck later. And then sure enough, two three months later, whatever it was after the album dropped, that year, you're fucking gone, dude. And it was like, and that was a good album to me. I love that. Yeah. I do. I like, but after that, yeah, fucking twisted around. After that, it was over, man. It was and then I like, did, dude. I supported the, the when they left, but then it was yeah. just the shit that happened, uh, 2017, and all this shit. Like, yeah, yeah. It, it bubbled over and it, it, it fucking exploded, and like it just wasn't whole shit with Otis, little fucking drug addict bitch from fucking dude. We should have just. Years ago when we met him at the gathering, we should have just fucked him up so bad. Remember what that time? We should have put our coins in the PLC. You fucking fucked this. Yeah, right. We should have destroyed the axe murder boys. Fucked it. We should have gave him a judo chop in the throat. Play a loud crew or some shit? Yeah, PLC. Yeah, PLC. We should have put a PLC instead of A and B and we would have been talking about different volume. Man, but look, we just had to get it out of our system. If Jiggy Fresh is flexed on it, then you know it. Then you know it's something. And I was already going to hate on it, and I did. Uh, but I want to get I want to get in my system because I don't want to dwell on it anymore. Just know that if you pull this ride of shit in my neighborhood, I'm rolling up like a real psychopathic ride. For sure, bro. Cause that's fucked up. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, what's some good shit that happened? Uh, hey man, shout out to Whitney Payton. Oh yeah, Whitney uh, Payton signed a sub sub noise. Sub noise. Shout out to Whitney Payton, man. Uh, yeah. Sub noise soldier for sure. That's like you know uh, I'd like to know you know. Uh, her her motives behind all that stuff. I'd really like to hear the story about it yeah, because, because it kind of came I, out of nowhere. It came out of nowhere, and yeah. speaking of them guys, I thought maybe yeah, maybe they too. Her up. And that's what makes that that's what makes me wonder. Is I just want to know what like uh, they were able to offer her that no one else was. What was yeah? Because some noise is just coming back, bro. Yeah. Like is this so? Like, that's cool as fuck, though, man. But uh, Whitney Payton definitely Payton, man. deserves she a little bit of uh, uh, a push. Th- there's that push for sure. Oh, She's been out here grinding for a long time, so that's some cool news to wake up to this morning. Um, yeah, that's that's something that's, that's popping positive because it's been some negative shit. We did. Oh, a homie razor. Oh man, damn! If we're y'all gonna, ain't got that. We're gonna have to. That's gonna have to be our uh, review real quick. Uh, uh, Heartless. We've talked about it several times here on uh, our weekly web show that we normally do. Hell yeah! And uh, our homie uh, razor uh, released. Uh, the 10 track project Heartless this past Friday or Thursday uh, Halloween, Halloween. Uh, and man look dude it's hard it, once you start knowing people and you're friends with them or you work with them and then it's you like, get online and then you're like oh man this album's great some people are like yeah, yeah you but you got, you got yeah. Yeah. You're, you're cool but no you're, for you're, real though this shit the album, is dope hey Album's a banger, bro. From start to finish, like it, it's it really is like straight up. And uh, if you ain't got it's it's on it's on the stream. Yeah, it's I, it's on Apple. It's on Spotify. It's on all that shit. Razor Heartless. Razor Heartless. It's kind of hard to find. I had to I had to go through. Yeah, there's a lot of there's a lot of razors. There's a lot of Heartless. You know. Yeah. But when you find it, 
fucking grab it. Art fucking gorehop.com man. Go grab yeah, that shit. Go to hard copy. Hop shop dot big cartel. No. It's just, just go to Gore because I, 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 I put that link in there, yeah. the Big Cartel, and it's just like nothing's found. We put gorehop.com, yeah. click the link. Alright, whatever, gorehop shop. Gorehop.com. Uh, yeah, go check that shit out though. But oh, get yeah. that shit, man. It's so dope. Hey, We're going to review that shit here. Hey. Hopefully, get Razor uh, on another interview real soon. Fuck yeah. Uh, man, like, I've been knowing these guys since like uh, 2012. To watch them come to where they're at and listen to their music the, as the years have progressed. And I was telling him his uh, this album, the release or whatever, if it's an EP or album, it sounds uh, more uh, better better mastered than some of the professional shit that we listen to. You know what I'm saying? So uh, it's it's very good. You guys definitely listen to it. I like man. I, I'm gonna have to keep talking about it like every day just so that yeah. like, until we get to it we were just something. listening to it all the way back you know yeah. driving around had to go do some things <laughs> it's, 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 uh, it is a masterpiece it man. is it it's a, a track album. with the fucking homies uh, Triple MMD my fucking scum and uh, insane poetry and I think it's dope as fuck great fucking track uh, I, I pull it out in particular only because the parts of the verses that Razor spit in that track right. I had gotten as acapellas to work on another project yeah, earlier right. in the year, yeah. and uh, to hear how, how what I did with it, and then what was actually <laughs> done with it is just so cool. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it was, oh, man. It, it, hearing it, I was like, oh man, because I can't hearing can it in that track. Yeah. You can pinpoint. The I don't hear it in the track. I hear it the way that like, I'm like. It all stands out to me because right. it was like, this is what I do with it. I listen to it a million times without a beat behind it. Right. The samples of it, so I can put those samples in order in the way that I chopped oh, it up right. when I did the intro and shit. And the uh, intro was fire. Dude. So, so, the so intro like, was to fire hear it, it's like, damn, fire. dude. Like, so little did I know even then that I was working on a with shit from this awesome piece, you know what yeah. I'm saying? And then that this track would go on to feature Insane Poetry, who was one of my favorite, like, legends of the game, and then Scum, who is a fucking pioneer godfather of the fucking game also, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Uh, that, that, so, that track yeah. is fire, too. Uh, yeah. I mean, that whole album, dude, like, yeah. it, it, it's just I, I know, I wish we had it right here, because... I mean, I got some on the phone. Uh, I'm in that book. Oh, we don't have the book. I'm in that book. Yeah. You got a dope, yeah. dope best picture in the book. Yeah. I saw it at the Kung Fu Vampire show. Yeah, yeah. That's uh, when I I posted about the album. Uh, I I get to see some of the artwork and the artwork looks really cool. But what was cool is they pulled me off the side to show me as we was getting sent out to proofing and stuff. Oh, that yeah. it was a picture of me and the thing. And I was like, the last time I was just like in the credits, and I was like, oh, that was cool as fuck. And then here, like I'm like I got like a dope ass picture inside the book. So I want to like I hope that I can be a part of Racer's projects more and more as the years progress because this is this is going to be the beginning of some really really cool this shit to come over the yeah, next couple yeah, years. Yeah. And like I said, that the album is just it's, it's dope. It's so fucking dope. It's a really good album. Um, yeah, do we need like a whole room of green screen and just have them shoot a video? Just sit down. We'll do like almost like a twisted ha 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 style, which is one light, just one light, and then just just night of it, and then we'll just have crazy shit flashing in the background, yeah. lightning and blood, and we'll get gimbal shots and standalone shots. Oh yeah, hey man, but uh, definitely check out where all the links will be in our bio here, and uh, we'll, we'll be flashing it somewhere across this shit. But man. I'm proud of those guys, and I will always be yeah. proud of those guys. That's just shit. Shout out. Yeah, that's some definitely positive shit coming on, man. I hope everyone had, like, even at the Attack of the Ninja show, I hope everyone had a really good time at yeah. the Hollow Wicked shows, uh, or the Halloween shows, um, the L Club show. I haven't got a chance to talk to Beast yet. He's still in Detroit. But I talked to him uh, a couple times leading up to it in the first day that he was out there, but he went out the night of the pre-parties, but I don't know if he went to... I told him if he went... I told him he went to that attack of the news I hope he got beat up. <laughs> but he said since he got he lost the fight that he got into last year at Hollow Wicked, he was gonna go to Attack of the Ninjas first so that he knows that if he got into a fight he would win. <laughs> so he was basically saying that everybody in Attack of the Ninjas is a bunch of bitches already. Uh you are whole bitch. A funny story of when the whole first uh feud between M and E uh, and ICP or psychopathic happened. Me and uh, Webmaster Baker were in Detroit. We were getting Coney dogs. 
and we went to American Cody Dog and we're like, hey, fuck it, let's get Lafayette Cody Dog too. They're right next to each other. Let's, let's try them. It was Adam's first time out there. And I was literally talking shit about like twisted type shit, like M and E when we go in. We go in the door and we walk in and there's at the end of the table there's a guy wearing an M and E sweater. And like <laughs> color leaves the room, it goes to black and white, the music stops. <laughs> you hear you hear fork stop on the day. Me and that motherfucker look at each other like we're getting ready to get to have a fucking old school Detroit knife fight and then <laughs> color kicks back in, music starts playing, and we just walk right through. <laughs> it was loud as fuck. Uh, but no, I hope everyone had a fucking good time out there. It, like, honestly, I didn't hear anything bad out of it. Uh, the Rida's set that I saw was dope as fuck. Um, Blase looked good. Uh, yeah, Blase looked good. Uh, Ping Lingo got Luigi tattoos on uh, Halloween. This dope ass hoodie. Hey man, that Ouija set though, I watched that shit. Bro, hey, I'm telling you right now. Go to our fucking, after this video, go to our Instagram page and watch a little fucking video we woo, posted. Woo, 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 woo. Juggle a juggle a Woo, 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 woo. Juggle a Hell yeah, that bro. Shit was fire. You can hey. tell the way I swing my hats and I'm a handsome man. Oh, bro. Hey, Ouija, we need this we shit. We need this shit, bro. Hey, I want to play that at my... I want to... Hey, I want to play that at every party I fucking go to, bro. Dude, we listen to this And then we get down to that... Uh, 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 and he, he was snapping. Uh, 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 oh, man. Yeah, go, check, go check that shit out. Thanks, Pink Link. Because uh, yeah. honestly, when uh, I saw that uh, video uh, this morning when I was finally able to... Uh, hear it with the sound out and the shit. I was like, oh man, this shit's so cool, man. Slaps. Made my morning, man. Made my Friday go by quick because yeah. I, I was just playing in the back of my head. Ready to get out. Shout ready out. to get out of work and drink my first yeah. beer of the month. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Um, but yeah, man. Uh, Shout out to Pink Blingo for that video drop. And the hoodie. And the I'm going to steal it. Let's just give this one away. Fuck that. I, I don't even care. We're going to give both of them away now. <laughs> I got this one. This Pink Blingo, we got to take you out of the drawing, though. And we're going to do the drawing, like, tomorrow. She's going to take out of the drawing. Yeah, we got to take you out of the drawing. Yeah. Uh, but uh, uh, we're, we're going to do the drawing tomorrow. Yeah, yeah let's do it live at my house. For the drawing? Yeah. Uh, but man, like uh, any other uh, cool ass shit, you know what I'm saying? Because really, we we'll want to do just a snippet that we'll, we'll sneak in uh, to filler for the next couple. Because we probably won't be get down for the weekly web show for maybe even two weeks. Next week, next Saturday, I got Bert Kreischer. Uh, the following Saturday, we're gonna do like brunch in South Bend. You said, oh yeah, that's the 16th. Yeah, yeah. You said Looney's the Bert Kreischer thing. Looney's going out there. He's not going to the show. He's no, going he's out going out there. there to kick it. I might go out there. Yeah, hit him up. That's what he's talking about doing. And then we'll just meet you guys. Like after the show, we'll link up that's in the city. Me, me just got to change somewhere. Up, yeah, yeah, for sure. Dude, that's not, man. Watch what I'm doing. Yeah, that's what we're going we're gonna to try to do. Uh, and then, yeah, we can talk more about that tomorrow then, too. But uh, on the 16th, we're going to go out to South Bend. So it is It is going to be a bender in November, bro. November. Because I'm thinking, look, if we go out there for lunch, we're not driving. We yeah. get some. Oh, Baker. Yeah, Baker and Rachel. So we could drink some Wampuses on the ride home. Bro, and just be slumped in the back. Slump I'll slump it. with you, bro. <laughs> slump got to be tiring. Because you know motherfucking Looney's going to get me high as a motherfucker. We're going to go eat some lunch somewhere, and then we're going to get fucking drunk. I'm just going to be yeah. I ain't going to no shine bar no more. No, we're gonna, it's going to be an early thing. So we're going to go get, like, tapas. And, oh, yeah, it's going to be an early thing, so Jiggy be slumped by fucking 12, 30. That's what I'm saying. So we won't be able to do a web show that weekend either. We're going uh, live, though. Yeah. yeah, we do that. We'll do that live shit. That's what's fun. But anyway, yeah. Um, I don't even know what the fuck we're talking about before Slump got. Just, uh, just things, you know? Just things, man. Like, hey, it's a birthday tomorrow. Yeah. It might be today. What time is it? It's not that day. No, we got 45 minutes. But anyway, birthday tomorrow, so make sure y'all motherfuckers. Over time, you guys won't see this. Either way. Either way. Hey, tomorrow you guys might see us uh, live. Uh, we're going to kick it at my house. We're going to watch the baddest motherfucker uh, fight going on. Uh, motherfucking UFC 244. Dude, yes. the whole no main card is stacked, is stacked as fuck. Dude. Uh, the whole main card is dope, so that's going to be a good-ass main card. Uh, and then, you know, we'll be over there just chilling. You know, Jiggy Fresh likes to go live and shit, yeah, so we'll go live. 
set up the gimbal or uh, this shit in the middle of the room. Remember back in the day, we used to, in the old party, we used to just set up the, the camera in the, the corner of the room and just party. Yeah. With, oh, the yeah. fram, with the family tomorrow, though. Yeah, the family's gonna be in the town. Gonna be uh, dude, I'm gonna do some crazy, like, we are gonna have to go live when I do this whole bourbon thing. Cause I am, yeah. I'm gonna smoke the bourbon. Oh yeah, you smoke the bourbon. Y'all never heard. I never heard of it say something today. Yeah, yeah, dude, I'm like, uh, so I kind of want to say this. So you guys say me something. No, I'm gonna. You're gonna be there, bro. I'm probably gonna be there, bro. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'll, I'll, I'll make. I'm gonna, like, what I'll, what I'll probably do is just do it as a show. Do it as like, yeah, make a couple of them at a time. You know what I'm saying? We're about to have some smoke burgers. Yeah, dude. Like, uh, you guys heard me talk about it a little while on the web shows. Uh, I'm really more excited to drink some bourbon tomorrow. Uh, it'll be my birthday. So fish. Uh, and, uh, my birthday, uh, I, I'm known for drinking uh, old fashions. And Ken Dollar. And Ken Dollar. That's, that's like a whole place. Yeah, it's my, yeah, it's fucking, like, yeah, dude. Uh, Ken Dog, to have the same birthday as me is pretty wild. To have, oh, to oh, have oh. a friend that's like, that you're close with that has the same birthday as yeah. you. Yeah. And, and I'm about to post the same two pictures I post every year. Yeah, right. Well, yeah. The, the one, uh, the, one, the, one the, the rooftop one and the yeah. Spring Awakening one, because I, uh, I cut a certain somebody out the other one. Yeah. Uh, yeah, man, uh, but tomorrow we'll probably go live, so you guys will see us then. Uh, until then, uh, you know, we are fucking uh, Bobby Blaze and Jiggy Fresh, and uh, we'll see you at the next one. Whoop, whoop.